make that ragweed honey? No, not really, because I'm really highly allergic to it. Okay, I do have the vents closed in here, so it's not gonna. That's good. Uh, hey there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always love when you watch our videos. Uh, yeah, and we do love to travel, and that's what we're doing. I'm actually heading south right now. Uh, can I tell them where we're going? Um, or is it a surprise? It's a surprise. I don't know yet. And, uh, well, it's south, but it's not Disney. Um, I will say it's not Orlando, so that's the <laughs> big surprise, I guess. Um, yeah, heading south right now. Uh, we're going to be on the road for about, what, three or four more hours today and then do the rest of it tomorrow? Yeah, we're going to be stopping at London, Kentucky. And I know I want to stop by the home of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, that's in Corbin, Kentucky. That yes. is really close to I don't think it's open, but I think we may just drive by in the morning and show you where it is. At least you know where it is. The birthplace of Kentucky Fried Chicken in Corbin, Kentucky. And we'll show you the original restaurant, or at least where it was. I think, they, I think the restaurant that's sitting there on that spot right now is in... Uh, newly built or you know not the original restaurant so but we'll show you the uh, historical plaque that's out in front if uh, you haven't subscribed to our channel make sure you do that um, also the uh, hit the bell notification button below that way you'll get notified when we put up future videos and as always we'd love for you to hit that like button that's going to help us out immensely so uh, we're going to be on the road for a few more hours so I'm not going to bore you with three hours of road trip no but we have to show them our luggage oh my god I mean this thing is full see yeah, yeah you can't even no there no, no this thing is full you can't even see anything well i have a picture i have a video of how it was probably about an hour ago and then my son added the rest of his stuff in so he didn't have to bring it down with our grandson and his wife so we just i mean this thing is full uh, we're driving a, a rogue right uh, a nissan rogue um, so it's a little bit tinier than what we're used to driving. In one mile in the roundabout, take the second exit onto North Franklin Street. Thank you, Siri. Um, so we're going to uh, so we're going to road trip here for about the next three hours, and we'll talk to you in a little bit. Before we got on the highway, Peggy made me stop to McDonald's. She wanted a cup of coffee, large coffee with four cream and four sugars. So they brewed us a fresh pot of coffee. Uh, I think we're heading over to what, 75 South, right, honey? Yeah, I think so. Is, was this a dollar? No, it was, no, it was a dollar 89. It went up in price, a dollar 89? Coffee was a dollar 89, yes. Whoa, I, what happened to the coffee was a dollar? Well, what happened to all beverages are a dollar any size? Are they no longer a dollar? I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I haven't been to McDonald's in so long. It's pathetic, at least uh, outside of our area, where if you go to McDonald's, it's a dollar. Yeah, usually. Sure. But it? then again, it's not. I don't normally buy coffee. I normally buy a, light, a large Diet Coke. Yeah, I think the large coffees are not usually on the dollar menu. It's only um, sodas are on the dollar menu. We'll have to check that out and let you know a little bit more about that but you're gonna have to wait for a couple of minutes for that to cool down a little bit it is a fresh pot and it is hot you said it's steaming hot so yes yeah. it's steaming hot so so we're heading down to, again 74 east to 75 south and our road trip continues it's been a while since i've had mcdonald's coffee so that's how long has it been honey i think since our last major road trip which was i want to say I mean, I don't, I don't, in a car anyway, I think we were over a year ago. And do you like my Vera Bradley blanket out there? If you know the pattern, please put that in the comments below. Oh, Vera Bradley fans are going to be all over that. I hope they know what the pattern is, my favorite, and of course you know why. Yeah, I know why. Because it's purple. I know. Peg loves purple. Where are we? Uh, Cincinnati, going across the Ohio River. That's Paul Brown Stadium over there right next to its riverfront park where the, uh, the uh, Cincinnati... Uh, Reds play, but the lights aren't on, so you can't really see it. Hold our breath, hold our breath. No, I'm not going to do that. Just kidding. My kids used to do that all the time. Oh, we can't see anything. This is literally... Yeah, they're working on the bridge, so they're doing a lot of construction, so they've got it all covered right now. Yeah, we are going through at night. Sorry about that, but it is getting a little bit dark. 
Yeah. Oh, there, look at that. There's all the scrims around. You can yeah. still see it. It's all covered, yeah. So now we're actually in Kentucky. <gasps> Welcome to Kentucky. We're in Kentucky. Does it mean gas is cheaper? Say what? Does that mean gas would be cheaper? I doubt it. Uh, well, then, then again, you never know. I'm, I'm not sure what the gas tax is here or not. So we're still on 75. Woo! Hello. That guy decided he wanted to go fast. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, no, I, I, I just decided he, I mean, I'm doing 70 and a 70. And he decided he wanted to go really fast. So we are going through Cincinnati and we'll be back. So I think we're, uh, where we're going to stay tonight. I mean, I think we've stayed here before, haven't we? We have stayed here before. Before We are in London. London, no, London, Kentucky. Oh, darn it. I wanted to go to London. London, Kentucky. So is this the closest I'm going to get to London? Uh, yeah, at least right now anyway. Uh, where are we going? Which one? This one. Okay. So we are at the Fairfield Inn and Suites Inn by Marriott. So we are here and we'll do a room tour shortly. Yeah, I'm going to get parked. Okay, we are here in our room. It is a king suite. As you come in, you have the bathroom. And Marriott's the king's has the showers. The queen's have the tub. So this is the shower. Shower is redone. This is a pretty recently new room. So this is the shower area. Pretty artwork. Towels, toilet, and you have the light and mirror. You have the square sink with toiletries. And then you come out here, there is the refrigerator. It is just a refrigerator. It is not a freezer. Coffee maker. Microwave. Ice bucket. King size bed. Large TV. Mirror. Place for luggage. Recycle bin. I like this, the ottoman. Is this the ottoman? Yes, this is the ottoman. Ottoman. Drawers. You have the wipes. And a large TV, really, really big TV and a work desk. Remember, this does uh, move. This work desk does move, so this can go out. Bring out, see? So that does come out. Pretty artwork. USB ports. Phone. Plugs. Drawer. Clock. It is 11.55 p.m. That's what time we arrived. And the Bible. And the closet. Closet has ironing board. And an iron back there. And a puck for your coat. I have my purse on it right now.
at the uh, Fairfield Inn and Suites in uh, London, Kentucky, and getting ready to have breakfast, which they're actually serving you. you. You bring it to your own table, but you have to go up there and they serve it to you. It's not a self-service buffet, but sausage, eggs, taters, uh, orange juice, uh, I have some other stuff up there as well. So, uh, but this is what I got right here. And they also give you the um, fork, knife, and spoon in a separate oh, packet. It's all wrapped so, up. And there's actually salt and pepper in the packet, but I grab an extra salt and pepper. Right. So you don't have to touch it. So no. um, they are not self-serve nope. yet. They're still serving you here. And they're still requesting that you wear masks. Uh, they say required in all public areas. They're, I, I, I see a lot of people not wearing a mask. So you go from there. Okay. So I'm going to have breakfast. See you in a bit. <laughs> So, so we had a case of water in the back, and when I opened the, the back up last night when we got to the hotel, the case of water started falling out. So I kind of MacGyvered it so that it doesn't fall off this time. Check this out, honey. We'll get a kick out of this. Oh, your shoe. <laughs> That's an interesting yeah, way to do it. Just hold that up there so this won't fall out next time I open this up. So what's in the cooler? It's a turkey. We'll see how it does. We did not take it out. We did bring our turkey. Yeah. You know, we've done this pretty much almost every vacation we've gone on uh, when we go south. We take a turkey with us. Uh, but, we have like three of them in our freezer. Yeah, but the issue right now is we have a car seat a and a stroller and four golf clubs. And two golf carts. Okay. Pull behind golf carts. Thanks for checking out the video. Do appreciate it. If you have not hit that subscribe button below, please do so. Also, the bell notification button below. And please, please, please hit that like button. That helps us out immensely. Have a magical day.